Hey everyone, this video is going to be all about what I am packing for my volunteer trip to China. So first I'm just going to start off with the little snacks. I just have a Cliff Bar Jelly Tots. They are vegetarian friendly if you didn't know. And I didn't use all of them but these little individual packs of nuts. Uh, especially for the flight. This is the little backpack I'm using and if you can tell in comparison to my hands it's pretty small. Um, I've got headphones on the side. I've got my travel wallet, which is actually a Falafax planner, so I'm going to use that for like memory keeping and things like that. And then I have a little first aid type kit, uh, which I've since added some painkillers, just some um, paracetamol too, and my little Mandarin handbook because I need that. I don't have very good Mandarin. So in that little pouch, I have just what do I have? Oh, pad, tampon, plasters, and some wipes. And then I also have the um, paracetamol that I put in there just in case I get a headache so then this pouch is containing some you know essential kind of toiletry things we have to bring quite a bit of hand sanitizer on this trip so hand sanitizer I have some 50 deet um, which is high <laughs> jungle formula and then sunscreen bar soap and baby oil for moisturizing so then I'm bringing this little wallet as you can tell it's real small um, but it's going to do the job and I wanted something nice and small. So then this is like my little tech pouch. I didn't open it but you can see I have a completely empty USB, mini torch, my um, extra SD and there is a little travel adapter. So then I'm bringing a tangle teaser, it's the travel one so it has the little cap and you know it'll do the job. Um, then this is like my main first aid pouch. Um, I just have some of these halo wipes, they were on sale honestly. And um, there's some antibacterial and some like toilet wipes, which are just like regular wet wipes. A bunch of plasters, painkillers of different variations for period pain, for sinus pain, and then I have some antiseptic wipes and Dioralite, um, which is for rehydration, and then there's some hydrocortisone cream, which is pretty useful for a number of different things. I'm just trying to bring them all to the shop there. And that was that. So this is just a quick overview of everything I'm putting in the bag. I'm probably going to do another video, but I'm literally recording this voiceover at 1am and I leave tomorrow morning. So this is what I am putting in the bag. Uh, three pairs of shorts, you can see a nice top, pajamas, toms, the pouches, swimsuit, six tops. Um, I will be washing them, I'm there for uh, two weeks. And then two dresses, which are pretty much for my day in Beijing each time. And that is it. I will be wearing pants there. So this is the backpack that I'm using. I'm pretty sure it says 35 liter plus eight, whatever that means. So, you know, it's not mine. It's borrowed from my neighbor. And um, they've done a few things like that. So like that would require a bag like that. So um, that's why I was able to get my hands on one so easily. I'm just being pensive right now. I thought I sped this up, but you know, I think it could be the next clip that is sped up because I was a little indecisive. There we go, double time, even better. So you can just see I forgot to put in like my little shampoo and conditioner and things like that because you know there are some things available there like where we're staying but my hair is straightened in this video and I have very unruly hair so I kind of needed it. So they do say to put the heaviest things in the bottom so I did put the heaviest things which are those toiletries as well as the dress that I will be wearing um, the outfit that I kind of need for my second day in Beijing so that it's easy to access and then from there I just started you know stacking everything else in that I wouldn't need to access right away I would just be able to unpack all of that when I got to where we are volunteering if you don't know like what exactly I'm doing and um, I will try and link a video in the cards if I remember then again I am leaving for two weeks tomorrow morning so um you can just see me, you know, stuffing everything in. The backpack is actually super helpful, especially for someone traveling alone. And you can see there's kind of some random stuff beside me. And that is some stuff that I had picked up to bring with me because they had asked us this particular wish list um, of things they needed. So they like wood glue, masking tape, and some baby toys and some zip ties. Um, a lot of the stuff I wasn't able to get on such short notice. So um, I got those things the day I was packing my bag. Um, leaving Friday morning so I packed it on Tuesday I think and yeah I'm just stacking in things so I did put like my pajamas and some of the toiletries actually that I would need as well on the first couple of days at the top and um, 
so that I could reach them, but I kind of took the masking tape and things into other things. Thankfully, one of the baby toys is actually collapsible that I just held there, and um, so that was really helpful. But the other thing was wooden, and you know, maybe not the best decision. Um, but I'm so glad I put this in double time because it took me a while. Um, you can see my camera battery charger on the ground, that will be going in. I had to deflate kind of this, you can see, and wrapped it in cling film. I squeezed the air out of uh, this bubble, you know, those extra large bubble wands because that was something that they said you could bring. So um, I did that so it wouldn't explode uh, with the cabin pressure and everything. Um, so this is pretty much everything I'm bringing. I think I'm also going to be bringing a Turkish towel, if you know what those are, because um, they do suggest that you bring your own towel. Um, I don't really know why. They said there are towels, but, you know, I don't know. I'm just going to take their advice. Um, and other than that, I will be carrying my little backpack, carrying my camera, and that is pretty much it. I will probably do an update on what I needed, what I didn't need, and, you know, more into detail when I come back at some point. That's probably going to be much later in the summer, but I thought this might be helpful for those of you who, like me, are going by themselves, not through their own church or anything, um, and I don't know anyone who's been on a trip like this, so I was really going in blind. Um, so there's the backpack, and for like size reference, uh, you can see it beside my knees there, I am five foot two, so you know, it's small enough, and it's pretty helpful to have a smaller bag like that, especially traveling alone. So that's what it looks like on my back. Um, I was literally wearing Ugg boots in June because it was cold. But I hope this was kind of helpful and I will see you when I get back from my trip. Bye.